15 years old and I've tried pot and I never would again. So here we are at the first really rough lash up with the timer actually plumbed into the car. I've used an old uh, window switch and I've taken it apart and hardwired in the control relays so that I've not had to actually modify the wiring in the car at all at this stage. There's an example of the damage that's been done to the roof from the passenger side window, which has been aligned correctly. Everything is, is as per factory setup. And I guess it's because the roof is old and it's slack. So now you can see the glasses on the outside um, of the roof, which means water can get in. There's a huge, there's a huge gap here, which means somebody can just pry the window and I discovered that the windows drop more easily than they rise. So if you have the same timer period setting for the drop and the lift, um, the window progressively gets lower and lower and lower and doesn't shut completely. So I've extended the close timer um, to make sure that the window's firmly closed. Um, now what I'm gonna do is turn the ignition on to power. Let's just do that. That'll power the windows when the door is shut. So then let's see what happens. So we have to wait our 30 odd seconds. I mean, this gives time to mess about with the roof or get your stuff out of the car. But as I say, so there we go, it's shut. This is proves that um, the basic system seems to work and it doesn't appear to be bothered or interfered with and interrupted by um, power hungry devices in the car. So that's a bit of a bit of a turn up really. Anyway, let's um, let's keep going. So let's pull it all out and um, do a little bit more work. Where are we going to put all this gubbins when I sorted it out? Goodness only knows. Catch you later. Bye now.